Welcome back everybody, and I hope you're enjoying Season 5 as much as I am and have had a great weekend. That's one, Dan! I am loving the RPG, we'll see more of that. So, as we know Scope smokes some more helicopters, let me just quickly explain what this video is about. It's about absolutely nothing. <laughs> like you guys, I'm playing the new content, the new map for the first time, and I just wanted to have as much fun as I could over the weekend before I went back to work. That said, you're going to see a heavy bias in this video towards the RPG and the AT grenade and also all of the new anti-air weapons we've got, like the 35mm Wildcat, the new 20mm AA on the lap Bs, in addition to some of the old classics like the AT mines, and don't forget, we still have to leave people down. But yeah, back to the RPG. I am loving no scoping with a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's so quick against vehicles too. Boom, hit and run, and that hit and run has revolutionized vehicle theft as well when you pair with an EMP. Landing that really sharp burst of damage really does make drivers panic. Hang on, just gotta deal with this guy. Backing up. There we go. Yeah, when I make the next uh, GTA video, I'm definitely gonna be using the EMP and the RPG. Now the plan was to EMP again and get one more rocket then run in, but Mackie made a play for him. Not quite as envisioned, but a win's a win. I'll save the jokes for the next GTA video, but public service message. If you're getting hijacked, don't get out of your vehicle. Go down with the ship. So whilst the RPG is strong, it only comes with two missiles and you won't be able to take down a fully armored beastie on your own. So if you want to take one on, you're going to need to find a third missile from somewhere. I hope at least some of you watched Naruto and got that joke. Now, if you pair it with a new AT grenade and you go after a wildcat, for example, particularly in the rear, you can take it out on your own. Whilst you only get one AT grenade and the damage is a little underwhelming, it is good for just finishing off a vehicle. I'll play with it a bit more, but I am still very much wedded to my EMP grenade, but I think I've covered that. The RPG is actually very good at bullying wildcats. It does just enough damage. I've also really enjoyed having the RPG on the back of a brawler when I'm doing my engineering job, just catching people out. Before we move on to anti-air, a quick observation about B1. Have you guys noticed that where it's particularly rocky that the large beasts like the Mav and the Brawler get wedged in the crevices? Anyway, this one belonged to us, but rather than just blow it up, I thought I'd rig it and maybe make a bit of a booby trap if an unsuspecting enemy player got in and tried to use it, but I wasn't sure if it was going to detonate or not. Oh, didn't have to wait long. Okay, if that's the way you want to be about it, let's play. Please. Sai Anara. I love 18 mines even when they betray you. Okay, so talking anti-air, as I see it, along with the classics, there are now three additional distinct ways that you can die in the air as of season five. The first is the much anticipated 35 millimeter anti-airs on the Wildcat. I've dedicated a small section in this video to using them for the first time, but for now, let's just note that they exist and that they blow things up in the air. Next, we have the Centurion C Ram. Oh, excuse me a moment, I see a sniper. <laughs> Sorry, that was so unnecessary. Yes, back to the Centurion. Basically, it already exists in the game, but now it's right in the center of the map on top of C2. And the major difference is it's now very much destroyable, and then it will respawn after it's used. But other than that, we've seen this before. And the third thing we've got are the anti-aircraft guns, which now sit on top of the lap B. I don't usually have sympathy or mercy for helicopter pilots because they're such a good vehicle class and it's really important you get rid of them straight away, but I'm starting to have sympathy with them at the beginning of this season. Remember the mission! There's only one vehicle in the air at any time on this new map and everybody's aiming at you. Get them! So in addition to the new ways, let's not forget that the old ways still exist as well. And I have to say as a Lee's player, so far based on one weekend of gameplay, this is the easiest map I've ever played on to be able to list all of the players down. It's actually very small, so the helicopters are pretty much always in range, and there's no big structures like the Boton Stranded or the buildings in the Kaleidoscope to give you any cover. 
If you're new to the game and have just come in at this moment or are thinking about picking up the helicopter for the first time, this might not be the time to do it, but I've got a little bit of experience, so I thought I'd have a go, and I've got a section at the back end of this video. The headline message is if you are going to fly, I really recommend taking the attack helicopters, the Apache, the Hokum for the extra armor. Okay, now I've been looking forward to this. The 35mm with a Wildcat. If I had to describe it for someone who's never used it before, I'd say it's like using the 30mm cannon on the Nightbird or the Stealth Helicopter or the Hokum. Big, heavy, bang, 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 slow moving projectiles, so you really need to calibrate the range of your target and lead your shots if you want to hit them. As you can see, I struggled at first. The 35mm are very good against soft skin targets like you're seeing here, but it does take a bit of time, at least it took me a bit of time, to get my eye in. So whilst I salute this pilot for not backing down and keeping up the pressure on me, unfortunately for them, I did eventually get my eye in. Got it! Got well done, chap, and thank you for the match. Right, the 35mm are also very good against infantry, which is a plus, particularly on such a small map. However, they're next to useless against fully armoured vehicles, as you're seeing here. If you come across a very heavily damaged vehicle, you can just do enough chip 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 to be able to wipe them out. But for anybody who might have been hoping that they were a hybrid between anti-vehicle and anti-air, don't try it. If you come up against an actual armored vehicle, you're just going to get toasted. So yeah, they're fun. I prefer 30mm at the moment, but I'll keep practicing. Hey, what did you guys think? Do you rate them? Okay, so let's just say a little bit more about the Centurion, because there is a bit more to say. It sits on top of C2, so particularly at the beginning of the round, if you can rush up to the cable, if you're not Mackie, get up and jump in. More often than not, you can get quite a cheeky helicopter kill. The problem is you can be killed by just about anything from anywhere on the map. Super! at a bit of a distance, even the helicopters can smoke you pretty easily. Perfect! Most of the time the Centurion got me was when it just suddenly sprang to life. Wanker! Now if your brain works anything like mine, you were probably wondering this as well. What happens if you put AT mines underneath a Centurion and then somebody starts wiggling the turret? Unfortunately, absolutely nothing happens. Ah well, now we know not everything's going to be a win. Right, the last thing I've got to say about the Centurion is you can repair it like any other vehicle. So if you've got a repair tool handy, go ahead. So just quickly before I move to the helicopter and the outro, just to say a bit more about the M5 and the RPG. Now if like me up until now you haven't really cared very much about portal weapons, you have to get 30 kills with the M5 to be able to unlock the RPG. Now the weapons aren't really revolutionarily different. The M5 comes with three rockets, does a little bit less damage. The RPG comes with two rockets, does a little bit more damage. So when you're fighting vehicles, to be honest, there are situations where that's going to work for you and there are situations where that's going to work against you. Both of them are also very good at no-scoping a target for a quick fire. But purely anecdotally, I believe I've noticed something about the RPG. It's better at taking out infantry. I've never had success like this using the M5. Target down. Anyway, that's my take, my observation. Have you guys noticed this at all, or is it just me? Am I just bad with the M5? Okay, so no weekends complete unless we have a quick run in the Apache for fun. Not only does the additional armor help massively, but there's something for all the things trying to kill you on this map that actually works in the Apache's favor. The windy roads and rocky crevices really slow the vehicles down, letting you get a good shot of them. This driver's got to make two 90 degree turns to get away from me so they can't put any speed on. 
protectors than they. Make sure we don't lose our advantage. This guy got stuck on the rocks, look. I don't get stuck off! Hostiles are attacking. Run actually went on for longer, but let me just finish by making a point. If you stay all the way at the boundary of the map when the Centurion is up, you see the bullets, they can't hit you, and you can just smoke the turret from absolute safety. Just something to keep in mind. Okay, we're at the outro, and I'd like you guys to stick on for what I'm going to say next, so I've put all of my missile shots at the back end to entertain you while I speak. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you, really, for those of you who've been with the channel for a while, to Marzipan Dan for that incredibly kind uh, plug he gave me, and to you guys who followed that lead and trusted me to have a shot at the channel. I really love gaming as a hobby, particularly this game right now, and it's fantastic to be sharing it with people who feel the same way. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. So take care. Enjoy Season 5. I hope you're having as much fun as I am, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye, guys. Vehicle neutralized! Stay controlled.